a wide range of news today. Let's talk about sports now. The ongoing drama surrounding the New England Patriots and Deflategate is not going away. Quarterback Tom Brady's agent released this statement earlier today saying, quote, the Wells report, which all due respect, is a significant and terrible disappointment. Its omission of key facts and lines of inquiry suggests the investigators reached a conclusion first and then determined so-called facts later. Joined now by David Cromwell, a sports attorney and former legal counsel to the NFL. David, thanks for joining us. My pleasure, Lori. How are you? Very well, thanks. All right, so Don Yee's, the agent's response is obligatory. Do you think it does anything, though, to effectively defend Tom Brady? No, it doesn't. Uh, the report is a starting off point. Tom is essentially going to take three positions. One, deny that he did it. Two, point out that the report was inconclusive about his involvement. And three, take the position that there was no competitive effect. The NFL is likely to respond in the following, that if there are holes uh, in, in the report, it's because Tom didn't cooperate. Uh, uh, two, that this goes to the core of the game, an integrity of the game issue. And, and, and then three, that, uh, that it doesn't matter whether or not there was a competitive effect. Wow. It's the act that's a violation, not its effect. So, so Tom I Brady th to Deflategate is really what Nixon was to original Watergate. I mean, it's really unbelievable how this is unfolding. Well, it, 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 is, it is a surprise. Uh, the, the report is actually very detailed. There are two uh, lower level uh, Patriots employees that seem to have been involved in def deflating the ball and their text messages suggest that Tom Brady w was aware of it. Troy Vinson is the executive vice president of the NFL and will be responsible for the discipline and I think we can look at what he did with the Cleveland Browns and with their uh, text messaging to coaches the Atlanta Falcons with piping in noise and I think you're going to see some significant discipline in this case. Like what? Do you think that, as the New York Post is calling for, Brady will see a two-game suspension, a financial fine? What would be appropriate in this matter? Well, I'm not sure what, you know, I, I represent players, so I, I may have a different view of what, what's appropriate. Okay. But I think, I think we uh, are likely to see a suspension of Tom Brady for, in a range between two to four games, even though the report finds that the Patriots' ownership and coaches were not aware of this, I think from prior precedent, it's likely that we will see a fine from the, on the team. And then the open question is whether or not they'll be required to forfeit draft choices. My sense is that they probably will not, but I do think that's on the table. Do you think this One will stay within the NFL, or could Brady and the Patriots actually face legal ramifications? I, I, don't, I don't think so. This is a... You know, the Constitution and bylaws establish the rules and establish the procedure and process for disciplining for breaking the rules. So I think it'll be an internal matter. But very importantly, I think that um, Tom is likely to get the opportunity to come in and meet with Troy and others, Troy Vinson and others in the league office. Mm -hmm. And from what we saw when Adrian Peterson of the Vikings turned down that meeting, Tom would be well advised to go in and tell his side of the story. On the other side, though, if Brady is able to prove he didn't know what was going on with the balls and how or not they were inflated or deflated, does he have grounds for a defamation lawsuit against Roger Goodell in the NFL? No. Um, hmm. the, the likelihood of that uh, happening is somewhere between zero and none, in my view. Um, this happened. There's no question that this happened. Um, and this happened... Uh, by Patriots employees and there, are, there is evidence to conclude that Tom knew about it. So even if there was a defamation lawsuit, he would lose. Thank you so much. David Cornwell is a sports attorney. Appreciate your expertise on the subject today. Have a good afternoon. My pleasure.